Hey everybody, it's Aaron from the Boards Alive podcast and I am here at Shucks to talk to you about Barrage from Cranio Creations and designers Tommaso Battista and Simone Luciani with art from Antonio De Luca. We are living in a 1920s dystopian society where we've used up all the fossil fuels and we rely on electricity. So we're using Tesla coils to power that and we use water. So water is what this game is all about you're actually going to have the water flowing down the board from the mountains all the way into the plains and out through the bottom. The water as it flows, when it runs into dams like this, it, if there's one level of dam, it's going to stop one piece of water and then anything else is gonna flow over top. You're all about developing uh, your infrastructure on the board and then producing energy. So say the green company here has built a tunnel that leads to a generator here, they can actually, as an action, they can use this water, funnel it through the tunnel and power this generator. And that's gonna produce the amount of energy listed in the tunnel. Every round, you're gonna need to meet a certain threshold of energy production. And so you slowly start moving their way up. And if you can meet a certain threshold, at the end of the round, you can score that objective. And you actually have to work your way back up the track and try and break the second barrier to score the second goal at the end of the second round. But if you don't make it that far, you're actually gonna lose points. So you're really forced to generate as much electricity every round to meet the requirements. The main aspect of the game is worker placement. So let's say we're about to build a new generator. We're gonna add that generator to our production wheel and we're gonna take the resources that that requires for this character. Let's say we're building a dam, it's gonna cost us three of our excavators. Those are excavators. I know they look like cubes, but they're totally excavators. When I add that to the wheel, I'm gonna turn it once and I would get to build this in one of these areas down here. But now I can't build dams again until this makes its way rotating over and over and maybe as I'm building stuff, maybe as I'm taking actions that will allow me to move this along and I don't get to build another dam until this comes and pops back out. And the other cool thing about that is you never lose your resources. These are equipment. So you get them back and you can use them again. They're just busy working on that project as they're moving around the wheel you have to plan in advance. You have to know what you want to do because things are going to get stuck halfway through. And as you build stuff, you actually reveal some other bonuses underneath. There are player powers for each character. This one gives you a bonus when you are generating energy. This one makes it cheaper as you build your dams. There's a whole section up here of different pie pieces that you can add to your wheel and they give you benefits. And I wanna show you one other interesting thing. You can use other people's pieces on the board. So let's say Blue has built a generator here. We've got some water sitting in this lovely green dam and Blue says, you know what? I need to generate electricity. This is the only spot that I can do that with some, some water that's available on the board. So I'm gonna borrow this tunnel. I can run this through here and I can actually generate electricity for the blue pay player here, but I have to pay the green player a dollar and a point. So it becomes a symbiotic relationship with the other players on the board. Because this is such a heavy Euro and it's all about planning all the different things you wanna do, the great thing is you can see the water, what's available and what's coming. And you can even take an action to manage water and add more water tokens to the board. And at the end of the round, each of these will trigger and water will flow down the board and fill up. There's so much going on. There's contracts that you can do. You can buy more resources. You can turn your, your player dial. Lots of choices, lots of really interesting decisions to be made all in this beautiful, beautiful package. These are prototype components. This is not the final look or feel of the game. So there you go. Uh, that is Barrage from Cranio Creations coming soon. Uh, I'm Aaron. Thanks so much.